Join us as we explore medical frontiers. Vitamins are crucial for our health. Among them, vitamin D is unique as it is produced when the body is exposed to sunlight. While its role in strengthening bones has been known for quite some time, there was limited understanding of the way it worked. Japanese researchers uncovered the mechanism and captured unprecedented footage of the process. Vitamin D is now attracting attention for its ability to raise survival rates among cancer patients. In 2023, a study by another Japanese research team gained global recognition as a game changer for vitamin D and cancer. Mm, this feels so nice. I also try to bask in the sunlight whenever I can. But how about you? Are you getting your daily dose of vitamin D? Reports suggest that about 98% of Japanese don't have adequate levels of vitamin D. And there are concerns that this may lead to a number of different health issues. We're going to delve into the latest Japanese research to uncover the benefits, significance, and the potential of vitamin D. The International Osteoporosis Foundation estimates that over 200 million people worldwide have the bone weakening disease. Osteoporosis occurs when bones become porous and fragile with age. Bone fractures happen globally every three seconds. In severe cases, patients may become bedridden and face complications. Vitamin D is critical in maintaining healthy bones. To understand the effects of vitamin D on the body, we spoke with Tsugawa Naoko, a director at the Vitamin Society of Japan. What are the characteristics of vitamin D? Vitamin D is ビタミンDはジュウ酸種類あるビタミンの中で、四種類あるあのアブラに溶けやすいビタミンになります。ビタミンDはの主な作用はえ血中のカルシウム濃度を上昇させるということで、カルシウムのバランスをえ保つってい
逆に壊した時に骨作る細胞骨芽細胞っていう細胞の2種類でバランスをとって保たれているんですねそ,のそういうバランスの中にじゃあビタミン D がどう効いてるのかなんですよね。Bones undergo constant regeneration. Osteoclasts break down old bone while osteoblasts repair and restore damaged areas. However, this balance is disrupted by the various effects of aging. When bone breakdown becomes dominant, bones turn increasingly weak and porous. This is osteoporosis. Using mice, Ishii captured footage of osteoclasts breaking down bone tissue for the first time in the world. The blue areas are bone, and the red parts resembling amoebas on the bone's surface are osteoclasts. The osteoclasts emit a glowing green acid as they break down the bone tissue. ハコス細胞がどうやって骨にやってきて骨でハコス細胞になるかっていうことをまあ研究していった中でどうもですねビタミン D がそこに効いてそうだっていうことが分かっていたんです。オステオクラスト・オリジネイト・フォン・マクロフェージズ・イミューン・セルズ・ダ・プロテクト・アー・ヘルフ・バイ・コンソミン・パテジェンズ・アナ・ザ・フォーン・オブジェクト。This footage shows a macrophage marked in a circle, capturing small foreign substances around it. It swallows the substances as well as dead cells and their fragments. Osteoclasts are made from a type of macrophage that specializes in consuming bone tissue. This macrophage moves from the bloodstream to the bone's surface, eventually becoming an osteoclast. The movement of this macrophage is regulated by two types of receptors. When one type is activated, the macrophage travels to bones, becoming an osteoclast. Activation of the other type. Redirects the macrophage back to the bloodstream. The tug of war between these two receptors regulates the movement of the macrophage. However, any imbalance causing too many of these macrophages to move to bones results in an increased number of osteoclasts. This is where vitamin D comes in, using its power to prevent this excessive migration. つまり骨に入ろうとする受容体が減るんですねでその結果として骨に入りにくくなるので血中にとどまりやすくなって骨にはいかなくなるので結果として白骨細胞ができにくくなるなので骨が壊れにくくなるということなんですね石井キャプチャーのプロセスを見つけたのはある種こう模式的に作ってるんですけど上が血管になって下がまあ骨の方と思ってくださいね。The round objects moving around on the bone are macrophages before they become osteoclasts. When the active form of vitamin D is added, the macrophages start moving toward the blood vessel. There is a clear difference when compared with the absence of active vitamin D. 完全に成熟した大きな白骨細胞になるまではマクロファージの段階であれば一旦骨に行ってもやっぱり白骨細胞ならないでやめておこうって,って戻ることはできるんですいろんなものの仕組みが分かるっていうことは確実にあた新しい治療とか新しい予防につながってきますねその作用点をしっかりと、えー、確保しながらビタミン D を摂取したりあるいは量を調節したりするかっていうことがやっぱ分かる分かってきますので
これまで単にビタミンは体に骨にいいっていうだけじゃなくってもう少し踏み込んだ形の、まあ、健康維持あるいは予防医学というところにつながってくると思いますけどね。In recent times, an increasing number of people have not been getting enough vitamin D. Sugawa's research shows that about 60% of Japanese adults are deficient, which poses a serious health risk. What's causing this huge deficiency of vitamin D? 全身を、まあ、日焼け、えー、から体を守るというためにプロテクトしていると思うんですけれども紫外線を極度に嫌うという、まあ、そういう風潮が日本にはやはりあの広く広まってしまったっていうことが大きな原因かなというふうには思います。魚の摂取量も全体的に見るとあの下がってきているという調査結果がありますのでそういったことが、まあ、相乗的に相まってビタミン D の栄養状態を下げていると思います。ビタミン D デフィシェンシー is not limited to people in Japan. While the figure varies depending on region and age, it's estimated that up to 70% of Europeans are lacking in the nutrient. The work style has changed so much in the last three years. People are working from home, you know, they're not getting it, they're in front of their screens the whole day. So I think it's almost like a recipe for vitamin D deficiency, the way we're living our lives. Ah, so this, ne. Mazu, jibun no sekats style wo omoi oko shite itadaite, vitamin D no eyo kaizen ni tori tukunde itadakitai to moimasu. Vitamin D also has the potential to prevent cancer recurrence and improve survival rates. In August 2023, a research team led by pediatric oncologist Urashima Mitsuyoshi published a groundbreaking discovery that drew attention worldwide. Urashima's interest in vitamin D was sparked by a research paper on macrophages. ちょっとこの画像を見ていただけますか。これはですね、マクロファージという免疫細胞が結核菌を食べているところなんですね。The large object is the macrophage, and the yellow part is the tuberculosis bacteria. In this image, The macrophage is fighting the tuberculosis bacteria while releasing a substance shown in red. The paper reported that this occurred after the macrophage was stimulated by vitamin D. 昔抗生剤がない時代は結核にかかった患者さんたちは日光を良くする。まあそれが経験則で良くなる一つの秘訣だったんですね。でそれが100年経った時にやっとそのメカニズムが分かったと。それまではもうビタミン D って骨でしょそんな感染症とかがんに効くわけないじゃんっていうのがまあ最初の思いだったんですけどこれを見て「お待てよ」人類は昔から生きてるわけでワクチンがない時代もからも生きてるわけだし抗生剤なくても別に普通に生きてるわけですからそうするとこういうメカニズムがないと確かに成り立たないよねっていうふうに考え方がドラスティックに変わった。After learning that vitamin D stimulates the immune system, Urashima thought it might also be effective against cancer. In 2010, he launched a clinical trial called the Amaterasu trial. The project was named after Amaterasu Omikami, a goddess in Japanese mythology associated with the sun, which helps to produce vitamin D. The clinical trial involved 417 patients with digestive tract cancer. They were divided into two groups. One received vitamin D supplements, and the other a placebo. Starting about two weeks after surgery, each group took two capsules daily. Recurrence and death rates were monitored for up to eight years. The results showed that the vitamin D group had a higher proportion of patients who remained recurrence free for five years. However, this data wasn't recognized as significant 
possibly due to the small number of participants. Therefore, Urashima took part in a joint international study on the relationship between cancer and vitamin D. It analyzed data from 100,000 people in countries including the United States and Germany. The study found that vitamin D supplements led to a 12% increase in the survival rate, regardless of cancer type. To find more conclusive evidence, Urashima further analyzed the data from the Amaterasu trial. He found that vitamin D is especially effective for patients with mutations in a protein called P53. The P53 protein is present in cells and plays a central role in protecting our bodies from cancer. When a cell is damaged, P53 pauses its growth to repair it. This prevents abnormal cells from multiplying. In cases of severe damage, P53 issues a command to initiate apoptosis, a process in which cells self-destruct. This protein acts as a break that prevents cells from turning cancerous. However, stressors such as smoking, radiation, and chemicals can cause mutations in P53, which can disrupt the break mechanism, leading to uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells and eventually to cancer. About half of cancer patients have mutations in P53. P53 Urashima focused on people with P53 mutations and antibodies against the protein in their blood. He compared those taking vitamin D and the placebo, then checked their recurrence and death rates. The green line represents the vitamin D group, and the gray line, the placebo group. At first, there was almost no difference between them. But after about a year, a large gap began to appear. Five years later, 80% of those in the vitamin D group remained cancer-free. Urashima speculates that once vitamin D enters cancer cells, it stops the erratic behavior of mutated P53 or triggers apoptosis in these cells. To study the connection between vitamin D and P53 mutations in more detail, Urashima is conducting a new clinical trial involving eight types of cancer. その、エビデンスをしっかり分かりやすい言葉に書き換えて多くの人に知ってもらって、例えば世界中の街ドラインが変わったりとか、ま、癌の診断を受けたらビタミン we asked Tsugawa how much vitamin D we need. She says the recommended daily amount is 15 to 20 micrograms. In summer, 10 to 30 minutes outdoors without sunscreen provides about 10 micrograms of vitamin D, depending on skin type, exposed skin area, and geographical location. In winter, it may take about one hour for the same amount. If you wear sunscreen, exposing uncovered palms is one way to get sun exposure. Nikko 
As for food sources, salmon, dried sardines, and whitebait and fish liver are rich in vitamin D. A slice of salmon, for instance, has about 40 micrograms of vitamin D. Sugawa says eating one every two to three days can help to maintain a stable level of vitamin D in the body. Vitamin D is also present in mushrooms such as shiitake, maitake, and wood ear. Since it's fat soluble, consuming it with fatty foods can improve its absorption. So in that case, is there any points that we should be really cautious of when taking vitamin D? タプリメントに書いてある指示の量を超えてたくさん摂取すると過剰症になる可能性がありますイフ you are on medication, consult your doctor to determine whether it's safe to take supplements. えっと、so thank you so much for your time today. Today, we'll show you some recipes for simple yet delicious dishes using vitamin D rich shiitake mushrooms. Our instructor is Nancy Singleton Hachisu from California who now lives in Japan. Since marrying a Japanese farmer 35 years ago, Nancy has been exploring the breadth of Japanese cuisine. The first dish is grilled shiitake, topped with grated Japanese daikon radish. Um, kind of a throwback to like the stuffed mushrooms of my mother's generation. Yeah, oh yeah, no, they always mm -hmm. say, it's like, not... yes, 17, well in Australia my mom used to, yeah, a lot of stuffed mushrooms. Yeah. These you mound um, grated daikon that has some shiso and the stems in it and then... Oh, the stems in there as well. So, 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 so you, you, so not to waste. I've dried them outside for about an hour just to sort of boost the vitamin D. When using fresh shiitake mushrooms, expose them to sunlight for about an hour before cooking them. This extra step boosts their vitamin D content. It's important to dry them upside down. The cap's underside contains a significant number of substances that turn into vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. Okay, shall we go? Yep, absolutely, yep, okay. sounds great. All right. Preheat an iron pan and grill the shiitake sprinkled with a pinch of salt for about three minutes. Okay, we want this to be fragrant, so you can stir this every once in a while. Yep. It's okay. Chop the stems and roast them, stirring until fragrant. Shiitake are kind of, they have such a different flavor profile to, to, to all the other mushrooms. Yeah, exactly. It's just, this is getting so. quite fragrant, I think. It's okay. quite, yeah. So we're going to make the topping now. Yes. Finally chop some shiso leaves and combine them with the roasted okay. shiitake stems and the grated daikon. Put the mixture on the grilled shiitake. Drizzle a blend of kombu dashi stock, light taste soy sauce, and mirin. Such a beautiful appetizer. Yeah. Shall we taste it? Must, absolutely. Okay. With the dashi, but with that shiso, with the combination of shiso and the grated, mm -hmm. fabulous! Wow, very healthy and very delicious mm. and very easy. 
Are you ready to go, yep. Luca? I am indeed. So what's the next recipe with shiitake? Okay, cucumber and shiitake in sesame vinegar. Ready? This recipe calls for dried shiitake. Soak them in hot water for about 30 minutes to rehydrate them. Simmer the shiitake in a broth made from the soaking liquid, soy sauce, and mirin. Then let it cool to allow the shiitake to soak up the flavors. We do a light salt mm -hmm. in Japan, right? And so this yes. is like a quarter teaspoon, no more. And I don't massage it, I lightly, I lightly toss it. Because mm -hmm. I think there's always that technique in Japan of massaging. Toss sliced cucumber with salt and let it sit for about 10 minutes to extract moisture and soften it. The key to this recipe is sesame seeds. Grind roasted white and black sesame with a mortar and pestle to bring out the aroma. Mix the drained cucumbers and shiitake with the sesame seeds and vinegar dressing to finish. Mmm. Okay. It has a really delicious crunch. Some Amazing these, texture. Some of these got a little bit. And I love the vinegar. They're attached together, that's why. Mm. Mm. Oh, yum. Give it more. Definitely Eight. another helping of this. <laughs> the third dish is a simmered shiitake and sweet potato. This recipe also uses dried shiitake. To enhance the flavor, we'll add chatsai, a pickled Chinese vegetable with a sour and spicy taste. Put the ingredients in a pot containing chicken stock, rehydrated shiitake liquid, and salt, and simmer over medium heat for about seven minutes. Mm. Oh, wow. This is fabulous. Zasai. I think it goes really well with the shiitake. But the shiitake is really key. Shiitake has been popular for a really long time in the U.S. for sure. Yeah. In, but um, raw shiitake. Yeah. Dried shiitake is less popular. It's true. I think in Australia too, it's really, really difficult to get hold of dried shiitake. Mm -hmm. but you can get fresh now in the supermarket. You couldn't probably 15, 20 years ago, but now you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to say, all of the shiitake recipes, I have a new love now. Oh, good. Yeah. So Nancy, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Thank Anna. you.